Hello everyone. Welcome to the exciting period of learning ECG together. This is Talent Virtual ECG Training. This video focuses on ECG diagnosis of cardiac rotation. I'm O Muladi. Understanding cardiac rotation is an important aspect of interpretation of standard 12 lead ECG. An assessment of cardiac rotation is important for cardiac and extracardiac diagnosis. At the end of this video, the viewer should be able to 1. Define cardiac rotation, 2. Classify cardiac rotation, and 3. Determine the class of cardiac rotation. What is cardiac rotation? Cardiac rotation is the orientation of the heart in the horizontal plane. Anatomically, cardiac rotation is the position of the apex of the heart in the horizontal plane as viewed from below the diaphragm. Electrocardiographically, cardiac rotation is determined based on the morphology of the KRS complexes across the chest leads. Normally, in the physiological states, there is a morphological variation of KRS complexes across the chest leaves. Among the six precordial leaves, the right precordial leaves, those are the leaves V1 and V2, display dominantly negative KRS complexes. The mid precordial leaves, V3, and V4 display equiphasic KRS complexes, whereas the left precordial leaves display dominantly positive KRS complexes. So the chest leaves or lead where the KRS complexes transforms from dominantly negative to equiphasic or dominantly positive KRS complexes, it is transition zone. So in Assessments of cardiac rotation, the chest leads, only the chest leads are considered. And the first thing to do to determine cardiac rotation is to determine which of the chest leads is the transition zone. Let's consider this diagram. This is a normal variation of the morphology of KRS complexes from V1 to V6. V1 contains dominantly negative KRS complex. V2, dominantly negative KRS complex. V3, dominantly negative KRS complex. Then V3, the V4 here is a transformation from to dominantly positive KRS complex to also V5 here and V6. So the transition zone here is V4. In the normal ECG, the transition from dominantly negative KRS complexes to dominantly positive KRS complexes usually occur either in V3 or V4. So once this transformation occurs at V3 or V4, that is normal transition. So, but if the transformation occur before V3, that is, it is occurring in V1 or V2, that is early transition. Then if this transformation occurs after V4, that is, in V5 or V6, that is this transition. So cardiac rotation is classified into three. Normal transition, early transition, and late transition. Normal transition, there's no rotation. But in early transition, the heart rotates anticlockwisely. So the early transition is otherwise known as anticlockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. Whereas the late transition, the heart rotates clockwisely. So late transition is otherwise known as clockwise rotation. 
Let's study this panel. Consider V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, and assess cardiac rotation. In studying this, the green row, so V1 dominantly negative, V2 dominantly negative, V3 dominantly negative, but V4 contains equiphasic QRS complex. Equiphasic QRS complexes are the QRS complexes with equal or almost equal positive and negative deflection. So the transformation has occurred here. And V5 now has dominantly positive QRS complex, so also V6. So the transition zone here, the transition zone here is V4. V4. And once the transition zone is in V3 or V4, that is normal transition. So cardiac rotation here, there's no rotation. So it is a normal transition. Let's look at the blue row. See the row with the blue complexes. The equiphasic QRS complex is seen in V1 and V2. That means the transition zone shifts from the mid precordial leads to the right precordial leads. So this is early transition or anti-clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. Let's look at the lowermost row. The transition zone is in V5 because V5 contains the equiphasic QRS complex. If you look from V1, this is dominantly negative, dominantly negative, dominantly negative, dominantly negative, that is V4, but V5 is equiphasic. So that means the transition zone shifts from mid precordial leads to V5. So this is late transition or clockwise rotation. Let's consider a few examples. Look at this ECG. V1 contains dominantly negative QRS complexes, so also V2. The V3 displays equiphasic QRS complexes. So it displays equiphasic QRS complexes. That means the transition zone is in V3. So this is normal transition. If you look at V4, V5, V6, they are dominantly positive. So the transition has occurred here. So V3 is a transition zone. So this is normal transition. Next example, we look at this ECG. V1 contains dominantly negative QRS complexes. But in V2, there is a transformation. So V2 contains equiphasic QRS complexes, up and down balance. So that means the transition zone has shifted to right picardial is V2. So this is early transition or anti-clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation. If you look at the other leads, they are dominantly positive. Now, let's consider the next example. The next example, we have V1 containing just dominantly negative QRS complexes, so, so V2, V3, V4. But V5 contains equiphasic QRS complexes. You can see up and down balance. So that means the transition zone shifts from mid precordial leads to V5. So this is late transition or clockwise rotation. If you have benefited from this video, kindly subscribe to my channel to get more videos. Thank you.